I believe your choice to spare Chartrand would be considered the honorable path, yes? Sublight's money is inconsequential in the face of ethics. You following me, Ada? Destination reached. The groundbreaker. Bye-bye. Hey. Is it done? Uh, I'm not gonna kill her. Well, damn. Contractor grew a conscience. As your employer, I'm both angry and disappointed. I'll add that to your file. Technically, I owe you an exit interview. Care to justify your betrayal of our species? Or yes. are we finished here? <laughs> species. You're crazy. <laughs> you misunderstood her research. She's our best shot at survival in Helicon. Hell are you call Helicon. Helicon? You're awfully Helicon. quick to trust someone who offed her colleagues and called it a good start. It wasn't like oh, that. We're done. Wait! This is why I always ask for half my payment up front. You think maybe she's got an itchy trigger finger? I don't want to find out. She just want to believe in her little alias. I said, get out. How can you talk to me like that after all the work I did for you? Are you seriously going to throw me your way just because I didn't do your little plan? I didn't kill this one person that killed her. Well, she didn't kill. She didn't. It wasn't like that. Oh, God. Aliens. Fucking aliens. You know what? Fuck. And I meant that. Hey. Miss Lilia says we ain't supposed to talk. Oh, wow. Wow, really? Really? You gonna do that? Oh, wow. Really? Mmm. Wow. 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 You know what? I think she's just mad because she's old and she ain't got long for this world. She knows she's gonna die soon. Nah, 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 nah. Hey. Got any leads on salvage? Shut up. Take that All right, Bavardi. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertising. Dr. Fenhill, I hope you've reconsidered my offer to stay on full time. My crew are never short on dents and bruises. I'm trying to live a more balanced life. Gun in one hand, scalpel in the other. I already knew it'd be easier to teach an automatic heart surgery than to change your mind. Fair travels, Ellie. You two know each other? Groundbreaker's a small town and a big ship, and anyone who spends any time here gets to know Jun Lei. We don't see a lot of competent surgeons on Groundbreaker. Dr. Fenho is my on-again, off-again freelancer. I take it she'll be joining your crew full-time? I don't like to put a label on things. Let's keep it casual. If you ever decide to settle down, there's a home for you on Groundbreaker. Good morning. Oh, there you are. Hey. Oh, Captain. You see those fine clothes Miss Jolliker made for me? I ain't never owned anything so fancy in my life. Yeah. Okay. I thought you wanted... Hmm. On the ship. Alright. So you're really going through with this, huh? You're just gonna throw me and you away. Okay. All right. She's on her way. How do I look? Uh, you look terrific. Oh, my hands have finally stopped shaking. All right, all right. Deep breath. Here I go. Whoa. Whoa, I got sent to my room? Like a child? 
All right, mommy, mommy and daddy's gonna have a fucking date dinner. You go to your fucking room. Don't come out. You got a second? Shut up. Damn, let's blow the dope. What did he say to that? Have at it then. And he handed me his favorite wrench. The one he used for the hammer. He's probably half as tall as I was. He didn't scold you for talking back to him? Nah, he was never like that. I always thought it was funny when I'd get indignant about something. Then he'd watch me do whatever it was, make sure I didn't get hurt, but he'd never interfere. I learned a lot that way. I wish I could have met him. Anyone who helped shape you must have been a special person. Hey, uh, so how's it going? Is everything going My well? And I were often at loggerheads. He had notions of how the station should be run, and I had others. He was fond of saying, "You think Groundbreaker pays for itself? Someone's got to cover the bills." When I chafed against his deference to the board, sounds like he was afraid of him. He was, and he was right to be. Didn't mean I had to like it. Thought you guys would put me on a date. Why you come here all dirty and shit? Hey, you clean your ass. We'll get the kitchen back to you soonish. Promise. Some of the cable routing in here is unique. Okay. It's just... If you're cold, then I'm void of space. Cold. That's the silliest thing I ever heard. I thank you. All right, I'll go. I guess I gotta buy it. Razors are on the line. I'll collect them some. I don't know. It's a clean slot. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. Come get me, bitches! I've got a date with the finish line. Woo! Oh no, you don't. I'm out of here. Y'all playing too much. Sick. Oh boy. You wanna tell me what that was about? Oh hell. Okay. Oh yeah, that's how you can jump. Play. Hang on. Woo. Go. Get his ass. Hey. I'm coming up on you now, bitch. Got your ass now. I ride Kate Pepper. Yeah, how does it feel, bitch? You should have let me fuck. That's our skid away. I got a shield. You want some more? Can you, keep, you keep on talking to me like that, I swear to God, I'm gonna turn this car around. And I'm gonna, oh hell, I got a shield on, you can't get me. So, oh my God, if I don't get myself. Kevin, what are you doing in this race? You still got them diapers on? Eee! Give it up! Close Man, forget y'all. I'm trying to get the sick. I'm gonna get my little payback. Oh hell! No! Little motherfucker! Woo! We run! Oh, 
on, Dragonfly. No! What was that? Oh, he got that thing out. Oh. Stupid tar. Who put tar at? Hey, Ashley, get your ass up here. Ashley, stop. Stop it. Oh. Ashley, why? But why, though? This race has... These races has really turned us against each other. My wheels on fire, Ashley. Oh, Ashley, baby, whatever. I don't know what weapon you got, but please don't use it on me. One last finish. Ooh. Oh my God. Oh, gotta go. Ooh, he trying to get me, guys. I won't let him take me. <laughs> oh my god! Ah. Ashley! Why? I thought you were my little shout hey. Oh, right on the chin! That sounds like shit. Come on, baby. Give me that boost. I need to go. Oh my god, I ran right through it. I see you. I got no weapon, you got no weapon. What you gonna do? I'm gonna take that boost from you and I'm gonna take off. Woo! Yeet! No, stop! Damn it! Sick move! Got your stinging ass, bitch. I need to get that nitro. Please let me get it. Leave me alone, guys. I'm just trying to win. Thank you, Sick. Love you. Yeah, I am. The king is here. Oh my god, please. I got more with that can drop. I gotta take I gotta take your ass out. Oh yes, yes, yes. No, 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 Sig, why'd you do that crap? Goodbye, ah. cherries. Yeah, now what, bitch? Oh, shit. And the crowd is roaring for more. Man, Sig, you made me come in second place. So, you made me come in fourth. Well, you should have never attacked me. You attacked me first. Listen, Jerry, if you do that again, I'm gonna make sure y'all gonna be the ones on my my wall. Cause I'm gonna collect your heads on a token. Ah. You might want to consider changing your clothes more often. What are you talking about? I'm wearing new stuff. Oh, looks like you're done with your little date, huh? How the well did that go? Pile like shit. How did it go? Okay, Captain, she's gone. Tell me a little bit late now, aren't you? Did it go well? I'm here about vibrating, I'm so excited. So she got here and, well, she sneezed. She said, wow, new soap? And I was like, yeah, rosish. <laughs> Turns out it tickled her nose. Oops. And then she just sort of touched my arm real gentle-like and called the cut of my outfit elegant. I couldn't hear the rest on account of my heart was beating so hard. Then I led her into the kitchen. I think she about cried when she saw the spread. 
Hmm. So you laid out the meal, brought Jen in, and started the music. She stood stock still and just said, "Come in, Jewel." Oh, real soft. Oh, and let me tell you, I was sweating. And then she blinked and said, "Is that dustbag casserole?" I told her how we got Mr. Raymond to bake it for us. So it was double authentic, made by a real live monar monarchian, monarchist, monarch person. <laughs> So the meal went well, the dessert too? Well, we talked a bunch over dinner about the things we learned just through messages, stuff we repaired, how I taught her to salvage and she taught me to build. When I brung out the sweetheart cakes, June, she got a little teary, said she had a thing she needed to say. But I stopped her because I wanted to say it first. I never felt so bold, Captain. And? I told her about how she made me feel. Bold like I acted. Strong, smarter, and kinder than I am on my lonesome. I listed all the things I liked about her. And then she pulled out a paper and read a speech. She she talked about the things she admired about me, like my cleverness and my humor, and how it made her want to be more open. Did y'all have sex? Anyhow, when she wrapped up, I asked her to be my girlfriend. And Captain, she said yes! Yeah. And then she sneezed again on account of the flowery soap. Damn it. That was. That was very sweet. Congratulations. It's all on your account, you know. Imagine if you'd never taken me out of Edgewater. I'd have never met you in Lay at all. I don't know nothing about the Vicar's capital P plan, but you've sure changed my life. So, if you don't mind. I'm just gonna head to my cabin and happy screaming to my pillow for like an hour. <laughs> <laughs>